don't fill your heart with anxiety, okay? Don't fill your heart with trouble. Don't fill your heart with worry because remember, again, what you think about becomes reality. Remember? Remember how I said, like, when, we, when you, I gave you guys the example, right? What happens when you're, like, when you say, let's say you're throwing football and you're like, okay, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it, and boom, what are the ball? Football hits you right in the chest, boom, and you try to catch, oh, damn it, you drop the ball, right? And you're out there, you're, you know, you're, you're about to, you're, let's just say you're on a bike or something, you're skateboarding, you're, you're on a surfboard, and you're like, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, or maybe you're snowboarding, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, what do you do? You fall. Because why? What are you thinking about? You're thinking about falling. You're thinking about the thing that you don't want. Remember, your mind is just going to go where you think about. Okay, so you think, I'm awesome, I'm awesome, I'm awesome, I'm awesome, I'm awesome. Guess what? You're going to be awesome. You're going to have a great life. If you think, oh, I'm terrible, I'm terrible, I'm terrible, I'm terrible, right? Guess what's going to happen? You're going to be terrible. A lot of people say, I'm not going to do drugs anymore. I'm not going to do drugs anymore. I'm not going to do drugs anymore. What happens? You do drugs. Why? You're focused on thinking about drugs. But what you should say, I'm staying sober. I'm staying sober. I'm staying sober. I'm staying sober. Okay? Don't you remember there was a, a, a Korean fencer who was down in the Olympics? I think it was him versus like a guy from France or something. He was down massively. And... It was like the, the, all the announcers like this Korean fencer is over. It is game over. This guy is no way he's going to win, right? And he just kept saying, I can do it. I can do it. I can win. I can win. I can win. And he had the most epic comeback. And he beat that guy. And he won the gold medal. How many of you guys are there? You're not, you're not playing to win. You're playing not to lose. You got to play to win. You got to go for the gold. You got to go for what you want. You focus on what you don't want, that's what you're going to get. You have to understand and change the focus of your mind. But when you're traumatized, when you have some bad thing happen to you, when you're abused as a child, when you're abused by your overbearing father or your overbearing mother or your aunt, your uncle, or your coach, or your teacher, your religious leader, people are saying you're a freak, you're a monster, you can't do this. You, you, you're constantly under this endless barrage of, of criticism, right? Of course, you're just going to retreat and run away. You can't get that focus. And that becomes like your, your default state when your, your subconscious mind is traumatized. Okay? And those are the things that we're going to reveal in the inner game healing stomach and we're going to take out. Like I said, the link is in the chat again. L.A. Methwitch says, John, you changed my life in 10 minutes. Wow. Okay, do me a favor and change your username to not... L.A. Methwitch. That's that that right there is also an inner game concept. You should be like you know, sober, awesome woman. Okay, like you know, mentally strong, fantastic person. There's a guy who I was coaching, and his his username was Geeky Anomaly, and I was like, bro, you're you're calling yourself a a geeky anomaly like dude you need to change that you how you refer to yourself you know the username also tells you a lot about a person right it's so funny when you see some of these girls that are like you know like you know buddy diva 69 and like you're like oh wonder what kind of wholesome woman this is you know like it's it's a it's a representation of what's going on in their mind 